with Cyberpunk 2077 just around the corner, CD Projekt Red has graced us with new details, and I'm here to give you the goods, boys. So, uh, let's start with the base here. Phantom Liberty has a new system requirements, and oh boy, are they a little juicy here, especially that CPU. Uh, it's getting a little bit of a buff. So that's, uh, whew, uh, yeah. So hope you guys as PCs are ready for this. Now, what's very interesting is they're not totally sure what's gonna be separated with the free 1.7 update and what's coming in the actual expansion. So we're gonna have to try and do some guessing work here. So the police are getting overhauled. Now when you earn stars, uh, the police will arrive by vehicles, and if you get the max amount of stars, max tech will actually drop in uh, via their shit. Um, they'll actually try to push you down their vehicles. What's really cool is you can now get a katana on your vehicle and you can slice their tires. You can now pop their tires and stuff. And max tech can apparently hack into your car and stop you. But to balance this out, you can apparently there's going to be a new feature where you can listen in on where the police is going to be. So we'll see how that plays out when it comes out. Oh, my gosh. A thing that makes every game better. So we are getting assassinations, kill animations, whatever you'd like to call them, boys. But they're coming. Why do you come to the new melee combat system, which I am super excited for. These assassinations look absolutely amazing and they're gonna really spice up the melee combat system. There's a new faction add in Phantom Liberty called the Bargus. There's a new map expansion to the area and the new area is called Dogtown. Uh, Dogtown is also gonna have unique items set to that area. It's basically uh, gonna be a town where the NCPD don't run. And actually, if you get stars here, you're going to get the Bargus instead of NCPD. So. Kind of a cool uh, little touch to that. So the AI has fully been upgraded thanks to the new PC specs. Um, the AI has seen a huge jump. So they're now apparently going to be able to use cover. They're going to be able to block. Um, and this is mostly, I would guess, where the CPU is getting the hit from. So can't wait to see an AI upgrade. That's going to be very interesting to now you can't just run a gun and slice them all. So it's going to be pretty cool to see that. So you can now shoot from vehicles. That's right, boys. So now when you're driving, you can actually pull out your weapon from vehicles and shoot. And of course, if you're on motorcycles, you can pull out your katana and slice those tires. But not only that, they are now adding vehicles with built-in guns. This is awesome. They refer to it as almost like a 007 here. So you'll be able to shoot from your actual vehicles with built-in gun. Um, they also said you're apparently going to be able to upgrade some vehicles. So there's going to be a shop in Dogtown where you can apparently go to upgrade some of your vehicles. And you will now be able to purchase vehicles, almost similar to how Mod was, from your actual terminal in your home. So I like that feature quite a bit. No more of just calling fixers and having to buy vehicles like that. Woohoo! They're gonna be adding new weapons and weapon mods to the game. They're adding new cyberware to the game. And they're not adding cyber psychosis, but they're now adding basically, if you have too many modifications to your character, you'll actually take some debuffs. For example, a health debuff. So you're actually gonna see kind of a punishment system for using too much cyberware. So almost like a cyberware limiter. Perk trees are getting reworked. Clothes will no longer um, give armor. So now most of your armor is actually gonna come from cybernetics. There's gonna be a new skill tree called the relic. And apparently you can, um, it's going to cost relic points. And the only place to get these relic points are in Dogtown. And leveling will now be skill based. So they're redoing the leveling system. So now uh, with the new redone skill tree, whenever you level up, you're going to be seeing a lot more skills now instead of passive. So you're going to be unlocking new skills as you level up. You're also apparently going to be able to refund your perks. Um, it's going to be a lot more in depth. So that's going to be interesting. The HUD is getting updated, um, especially for inventory and characteristic details. So you're going to be able to see uh, better stats for your weapons. And also it's going to be a better inventory, especially for your quick slot with your items and stuff. Also, they're apparently making it where you're no longer going to be able to spam health packs. This is going to be a pretty big game changer. Now there will be a cooldown if you use uh, your health packs too many times. So, so especially you can see um, in the trailer here, the game is getting a huge update to its visuals and its atmosphere and character models. And I think you're going to see that, especially since they dropped last gen consoles and since they're buffing the PC requirements, you can kind of see here, you're going to be getting better AI and better visuals, which the game absolutely looks stunning. It's just my PC. I, just, I don't think it's going to handle that too well, but all reliable. She's going to last. Okay, she can do it. 
So apparently Phantom Liberty will lead to a new ending uh, if you have the expansion. And also that ending can branch off into multiple paths similar to the other ending. Spear Hunter, the YouTuber, apparently is playing a character named Stella. It sounds like they're adding randomly generated gang fighting and police chases. That would be really cool to see. I, I like how they wanted to do handcrafted, but I thought the handcrafted stuff would just be too little. I would like to see procedurally generated. And it sounds like this is what they're going to be adding here. So that's going to be a really cool feature. Just Walking Night City and just seeing all these gang fights and stuff. It's really going to take immersion to the next level. And Cyberpunk was already really good at immersion. And boys, I'm sorry to say, there is no new romance options in the game. I want I know. more. I'm sorry. No new ones. I know some people are wondering if you could even uh, romance the new character in the game. Nope. However, though, not fully out of it. They did say that they're going to be expanding the previous romances, though. So they're going to be able to uh, fit in into Phantom Liberty. So we'll have to see what they mean by that. And of course, all of this is coming September 26, just 20 days after Starfield, at least the regular edition because the deluxe edition comes out five days early. So this is going to be really interesting. We're eating good with Starfield, Cyberpunk. Oh, going to be great. But yeah, lots of new details. I'm super excited for this expansion. They're adding a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff than I thought. Ever since they said that this game, uh, everyone thought this was going to be the biggest expansion, but they corrected it and said this was actually the most money they spent on expansion. I can definitely see that, especially by getting Keanu Reeves back and Eldris Ub. Eldris Ub, I cannot say his name. Oh my gosh. But it definitely seems like they're adding a lot of content to the game and they are redoing a lot of the base game too. So that is really cool to see. And some of the stuff is going to be free, like I said, with the 1.7 update. Also the note, if you pre-order Phantom Liberty, you apparently get a car earlier than everyone else. So have that in mind. But you want to know what's the coolest detail so far I've seen is you hitting that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my new content about video games and anime, of course. And then, of course, uh, I would like to thank all of you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. So I just want to give you a big thanks. So Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty seems to be one of my favorite games uh, from the Summer Games Fest. But if you also want to see some of the other games I liked at the Summer Games Fest, check out my video. Link in the description. Okay, well, that's going to be it, everyone. I hope you all have an amazing day. And thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And share the video. Also, check out my other videos as well.